Hey housing guys, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to import data from Microsoft SQL Server to Google BigQuery using Python. So this is a script I use whenever I need to upload a table from SQL Server to Google BigQuery. Right, so here in my SQL Server, I have this uh, SQL statement. If I run, it's going to create uh, this data set that has about 13,000 rows. And I want to upload this table to all my Google BigQuery data set. All right, so let's look at how we can do that using Python. So first we need to enable Google BigQuery API. So you want to navigate to console, oops, console.cloud.google.com. Now choose your project, then click on navigation menu. And here you want to choose APIs and services. Then you want to click on library. Now here you want to search for BigQuery. It should be the uh, first item. Now click into BigQuery API. And here you want to make sure that the BigQuery API service is enabled. Now to communicate to SQL Server in Python, I wrote a module called SQL Server.py. And you can download the source code from the link in the description below. All right, so basically I create a couple functions to simplify some of the uh, SQL Server operations. Now create a blank Python script. I'm going to insert my import statement. All right, so for this automation script, I'm going to import the time module. And for data cleanup and data transformation, I'll be using pandas library. And you can install the library using the uh, command pip install pandas. And to uh, communicate to SQL Server in Python, I'll be using this uh, pypyodbc uh, module. And you can install the library using the command pip install pypyodbc. So BigQuery has its own uh, Python package. And you can install the library using the command pip install google-cloud-bigquery. Then we'll import the SQL Server class from the SQL Server module. Now step one is going to be connecting to SQL Server database. All right, so here I'm going to uh, insert my code snippet. So here I'm creating a couple of variables. This is going to be my server name, followed by the database name that contains the table. And when I create the SQL Server object, I need to provide the server name and the database name. And I'll name the object as SQL Server instance. Now from the SQL Server instance object, we can uh, call the connect to SQL Server method to make the connection. All right, so let me go ahead and run this code block. Now if I look at my terminal, from the connect to SQL Server method, if your SQL Server connection is created successfully, then you're going to see uh, this uh, connected message. Now, step two is going to create the records from SQL Server. All right, so here I'm going to create a variable called SQL statement. And here I'm going to supply the SQL statement that return the records that I want to insert to uh, BigQuery. Now, using SQL Server instance that query method, now supply the SQL statement. Now, if I go ahead and run this code block, if I print counts and records, so counts is going to basically return the headers from the uh, data set. And records is going to return a list with a list of uh, tuples. And each tuple object is going to represent each record. And once I have the records and counts in two separate objects, I can pass the records and counts to the pandas DF frame class. And I'll name the output as DF. Alright, so if I run these two lines and create the data frame object. Now if I print DF, and it's going to return 13,109 rows and eight counts. Now we have the data set that is ready to get uploaded to BigQuery. So for step two, it's going to create a data loading job. All right, so here I'm creating an instance of the uh, BigQuery client. And from BigQuery module, I'm going to uh, call the load job config object. And I'll uh, specify the data sets metadata. So here I'm using auto detect to automatically detect the uh, columns metadata. You can also manually define your uh, schema. But for demonstration purpose, I'm going to uh, use auto detect to save me some time from typing. Now this right disposition parameter is one of the uh, critical parameter. So using this parameter, we can specify how we want to insert the data. 
and I'm setting the value to write truncate, meaning that if the table it exists, then BigQuery is going to override the table data. You can also set the value to write append, meaning that if the table already exists, then BigQuery is going to append the data to the table. Now, if I want to raise an exception, then you can use write empty. And what this will do is, if the table already exists, then it's going to raise the duplicate exception. So here, I simply just want to overwrite the existing table. Now, once we define the table schema, from this uh, Loja config object, we can now make the API code to uh, load the data set to BigQuery. Now here I'm going to insert the code snippet for step four. All right, so I want to uh, go back to the notes, um, step three, and this should be a defined table schema. Now for step four, we're going to load the data set to BigQuery. But first we need to create a variable to point to the target table. If I go into my BigQuery console, Now let's say I want to upload this data set to my demo data set in BigQuery. So here we need to define the table name, and it's going to be a project data set followed by the table ID. Then from the BigQuery client object, we want to use the load table from data frame method, and we'll provide the data frame object followed by the target table ID followed by the uh, table schema's uh, object configuration. Now, when we run the load table from DFM method, and it's going to create a job, and the job is going to get assigned to a queue. So we need to wait until the job is uh, complete. Then I want to print the uh, job result. And that's where this uh, while loop is coming from. So I want to uh, keep checking the job state until the job state is equals to done. Otherwise, I want to recheck the status every two seconds. And once the job is complete, then I want to print a summary that tells me how many rows and counts upload to which table. So this line here is going to a reference to the this is my target table. And this print statement will print the uh, number of rows and counts from the table object. All right, so this is going to be everything we're going to write for uh, this Python script. I'm going to do a test run. So I'm going to terminate this session. And I'll pause F5 to run the script. It looks like the job is finished. And it took about maybe um, less than five seconds. And from the message, I can see that I have uploaded 13,109 rows and eight counts to the SQL for BigQuery that demo the Austin traffic incident 2020 table. Now, if I go into my BigQuery console and refresh the page. Now, if I expand the demo data set, the table is now get uploaded to my demo data set. And let me just preview the table real quick to make sure that I have imported everything. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this tutorial. And hopefully you guys find this video useful. And feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.